Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Buddies, and today, National Bourbon Day. How National awesome Bourbon. is that? National Woo. Bourbon Day. Mm -hmm. What do we have today, buddy? Well, buddy, uh, we got a little bit of wild turkey. Gobble, gobble. Love me some turkey. And this is Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, and this is the the old bottle. This is the, the turkey bottle, right? Um, little stats on this. This has... 50.5% alcohol, which makes it 101 proof. And this is single barrel. Now this single barrel was picked by our local store around here, which is uh, Bourbon Street um, Wine and Spirits. So um, we're gonna do a pop and, pop and pour, pour on this. Yeah, so we haven't tried this. I have not tried this yet. Have you tried it yet? Buddy? I have not had it. I have not had it. So we're gonna go pop and pour. One thing I do want to point out, sexy little Willet glasses. I don't oh, know yeah. if you can see that on there, but and I was at Willet last weekend. Mm -hmm. So got family lives in Kentucky. Popped in there for a little quick tasting and uh, there'll be more to come on that. So we're doing a little turkey and some Willet glasses. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Blending it up. They're both W's, right? They're both birds. amazing color on it all right we got we got a nice little that's looking here. good all right now you said this is the old bottle they changed the bottle yeah so now the bottle is uh it looks pretty much like i think it's the same bottle as the russell's reserve and okay. um they put it like a gold label on it and the, yeah this i love this bottle. i think right. that's got like an old school feel to it dude it's so cool yeah old cool glassware but, all right let's see what we got cheers buddy cheers pop and pour To me, it's classic turkey, though. Classic turkey. You get a little bit of that turkey. I mean, the, the turkey funk's right in there. It's it's um, for me, the turkey funk comes out as like almost like a, a, a like an allspice. Uh, for that's for me. I yeah, mean, yeah, I can, like I, it, no, a little allspice, kind of earthy, spicy. It is a little earthy. Yeah, there's a little spice note on it. I mean. It'll probably change a little bit once you open open the bottle, let it breathe a little bit. It seems to yeah, oh yeah. The alcohol cuts down a little bit, or at least the vapor. Um, man, I'll tell you what though, it, it's classic turkey, but it's good. You get the vanilla, the caramel, absolutely right down the middle. I mean, it's just like if you just in it's baseball, a, you hit that, you hit that ball, it goes right down the line, right? That would be the spectrum of whiskey, I guess. So the pitcher standing in the middle. Like, I guess so. I came up. So he likes turkey. <laughs> he might like I guess. Turkey. Who doesn't like turkey, right? I, I'm I am a turkey fan. It, it. I never realized it until Neil pointed it out. He has. He's, he's got like, a turkey mouth. Yeah, I got a turkey <laughs> mouth. He's got a turkey mouth. Um, man, I just gravitate towards some of the turkey. Probably love the Russells. Uh, love the rare breed. Love those. So. And get a little, you know, on, on turkey, I get a, a little bit of nuttiness. I do. I get a little bit of nuttiness. Yeah, there's like almost like an I want to say an almond, almond yeah. or cashew. Yeah, like a little bit yeah. of that sweet cashew kind of going on there. And for this, the uh, um, I'm definitely it's like a, a caramel, but it's, it's spicy. It's all, um, I don't know what you what a spicy caramel would be. Um, yeah, I, I, I think what you're saying is it's almost more toffee. Like a, like oh, a, that's you read my mind. Right, right like on the mind. Like a little toffee. Yeah. A little toffee. A little, little toffee. toffee. You gotta say it like that. I guess I'm, depending on where you are, that's how you say it. I'm liking the nose, and I'm, I'm trying to compare this to Russell's Reserve in my head. I mean, that's kind of where my. That was my, my first initial when I smelled it, was like, right? it's a lot like Russell's Reserve. Now I'm starting to get sweet vanilla. Yes, the vanilla's now being coming that out. We just popped the bottle, it's gonna morph a little bit, change a little bit, but man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I think I've I'm spent liking. enough time now. Yeah, should we go in? Let's go in, buddy. All right, cheers, cheers buddy. again, buddy. National Bourbon Day. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is different. Ooh. Oh, the mid, the mid palate 
So wow, initial palate, immediately the flavor comes in. A lot of bourbons sometimes it, when you get on the palate, it has to wait till the mid palate for the flavors really to come alive. And now this is this. right off the tip, man. Oh, right off the tip of the tongue, it's like warmth rising up. Dude, this is loaded. This is this is different now. I expect it to be like maybe a just like Russell's Reserve no. barrel or something. Single barrels, man. You never know. No, this this is on this is on in a different place. There's a lot of. I feel like there's butterscotch. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, but almost with like a little spice, but yeah. not spice and like peppery, but just like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like savory spice. You're right. You know? It's, it's, it's like, like, like salivate. Yeah, right? kind of rides on it rides on the sides of your tongue. Uh, just wow, dude, this this whoa, is, this is catching me completely off guard. Not it really is. Not what I expected off the nose. The nose was like, ah, oh, it's gonna be a Russell's or. And the proof feels a little bit hotter than actually than it is. I, it I does. just had 101 Wild Turkey 101. I love that stuff. I just had that what, yesterday. And comparing that to this, I mean, whoa, this has got like all kinds of nuances kind of coming on. And, it and does the, seem more complex. Yeah. Um, oh, that butterscotch. Yeah, that more butter, Yeah, more of that than than the cherry. Not that there's not some cherry note in it. I mean, it's, it's classic bourbon, it, it's phenomenal, but it's it's different and, and I can't, I don't know what else I would compare it to. Um, a little rare breedish, a yeah. little Russell's. I mean, little it's Russell's. got turkey, it's got turkey written on it, but it's on, it's it's on, it's on a different level to me, or a different place. Well, that's. Um, now for being 101, it has leveled up over 101. Oh, I, I agree. It's I, leveled up there. And you know, they're picking this this pick. I can tell I can tell what they were looking for. They they realized that this this pick here that you get all those butterscotch toffee notes and there's this little bit of a little citrus note kind of climbing um for for me right now almost um I, I don't even know where the it's I don't know what specific citrus but this is good. This is good. This is, I'm surprised. If you're a turkey fan of any way, like if you like the rare breed, you like the Russells, you like any of that stuff, even the 101, get your hands on this, try it. It's gonna be a little bit different experience. It's not what I expected off the nose. There's so no. much, the nose to me seemed a little tight. There's so much more going on on this than on the palate, big time. I mean, I'm, I'm still figuring this one out. You know, and this is this is a yeah. pop and pour, so we haven't spent any time with no, it. No, no so time. It's a, it's a little, uh, it's a lot to take in right it now. Is. I it mean, is. I mean, there's I'd, a lot going on here. Um, I'd like to sit down with this and just kind of spend a little time with it and see how it opens up, see how it changes, um, if it does at all. I don't know though. I mean, I would imagine they typically get better. So I would imagine this is only going to get better. Usually past kind of, you know, for me, it past like the neck, you know, once you get down past the neck, yeah. you start getting to the bottle, that's when it starts opening up. Yep. And this is probably no different, you know, even though this doesn't really. There's no real neck on neck it, but, but I'm going to say, you know, you get down here, yeah, maybe the top of the label there, it's going to, it's going to change. But I mean, it's, man, it's, it's on a, it's, it's definitely a step up. And I wouldn't say that it's, um, I wouldn't do like a better or worse with like rare breed or no. 101. It's just different. It's definitely different. Um, which is awesome because it's just, but there again, it's just one more product That's from right. Turkey that I like, you know? It's, it, I, I, I find like every Turkey product, I'm liking. It. It's, it's hard for me to, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. And, and for the price we got this, $49, $49, uh, dollars, which, yeah, and it, I it think it's a steal a, for drinking this well. I mean, this, this is, is a very really complex bourbon. I mean, this isn't this isn't. If somebody didn't know their way around bourbon a little bit and spend some time with it, I don't think they would know how good this really is. Like, I mean, you got you got you want to spend some time with it. I definitely want to spend a little more time with it and just enjoy it, kind of pick it apart, see what it does, and really just kind of spend some time experiencing it because it's. Yeah. Man, it's more complex. That's getting creamy. It's getting creamier. It's, it's it's kind of building on that creaminess. That that last sip I just took, it got creamy. Man, I I'm well, getting all serious right now. You are. <laughs> get, it's getting heavy. <laughs> it's getting heavy around get, here. It's getting heavy. But I, I do see one problem is and yeah, that, and that I'm out. 
Yeah, we're out. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna rent. Go ahead, buddy. You oh, pour oh, thanks, it for buddy. us, please. And then so um, we're just gonna do another little, uh, yeah, little we'll get nip a little here. For, let's get a little nip in there, and we'll, yeah. let's do a. You want to go for a, like a real quick uh, a rating? Score? Oh, rating? a rating. Yeah, we gotta do a rating. Um, That's a nice color. Definitely. I mean, I don't know how well you can tell. We're out. We're outside in a in a different spot today. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. I don't know if you can get a, a, a glimpse of that color or not, but man, it's it's a thing of beauty. It really is. I'm really digging this. So, buddy, you want to? And the Willet glasses, they're, they're, they're sexy. So. I do, I, and I like that it's... Big it's fan just... of Willet products as well. They're yeah, really okay. good people. Um, every time I've been there, um, definitely check out their stuff. They're, they're, they're an awesome place, so... Um, I want to get there. For, for me... Yeah, where are you sitting with this? And again, out of 100 points here. Man, you know, the thing is like, this the thing is that messed change. me up, the thing that messed me up with this whole thing is that I said Baker's was 90. Yeah, and, and oh. now I keep thinking about the Baker's at 90. <laughs> that's um, your, that's your, but that's your like, yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to say for me, oh man, this, this is tough. Uh, I'm going to say 90. Woo! I'm really Wee! liking this, and I'm pleasantly surprised, and I just know this is going to get better as as it kind of opens up a little bit. I'm, that's where I'm at with it, and, and who knows? It could be today. It could be that it's a gorgeous day outside. Yeah, maybe it's influencing. It's probably like 80, 70 degrees, just perfect air, mm -hmm. still just gorgeous. So that's where I'm going with it. Going 90, buddy. Well, I like where you're going because I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to copy you, but I feel he like our palettes. <laughs> you, you would. I feel like our palettes are aligned right now. It's like, it's like when the Matrix, everybody's clicking and everyone's working the. You know how like Neo, Neo's like I, I can see everything in the Matrix. That's what I feel with, with you with this. Let's see what I feel like we're seeing the same code, and I feel like this is a 90 all day, and I love it. Yeah, and I, I would recommend this to anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner. Especially for the price point. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's a little more expensive than like entry level, but what's entry level? And there again, it's like you give somebody something that's entry level and it's, you know, it can mm. turn them off for it forever. So, but then again, you give them something real good to start with and then that's, I don't know, it's, there's the bird again. Yeah. Um, he always, he always kills me. He's always chiming in. <laughs> um, yeah, I, Man, I, I'm into this stuff. I think it's I think it's a really good drinker, especially for the money. I guess yeah, he's go digging out and get it too. It. He's digging it. Try um, it. Give it a try. Definitely, definitely give it a try. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I kind of steered around it for a while, um, but no, I, I man, I'm glad we got one of the old bottles too. It's I know because now we're gonna much keep cooler. this. I think I think too. Um, a lot of people are scared to get this because they're saying, oh well, it's just single barrel of, of Wild Turkey 101. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of is, but the thing is, they're 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 grabbing this out of different locations, and then you have that ability. If you're going on a pick, you have that ability to go. You know what? I really like this, and it's in a different location than typically. You know, Wild Turkey 101. They're pulling from all different locations, so this you're getting different expressions, just like you get with Russell's Reserve. And I feel like that's awesome, and it. It gives you that just a little bit different than Russell's Reserve, and you know, it's typically Russell's Reserve is right from the middle of the, um, of the Rick House. Of the Rick House, yeah. and this, you know, whatever, you know. Well, there is definitely truth to that, and and I just had this discussion with somebody about why bourbons are different. I mean, yeah, the barrel itself, where it's aged, huh. the the climate of the years that it's been aging, huh. like there's all these factors, and oh yeah, and. Which is cool because it gives us something new to check out all the time. Yes. So I, I'm into this. I'm, I'm into it, buddy. I'm pumped about it. I'm 90 um, as well. I recommend it. You guys definitely give it a shot if you can find it. Um, I know there's limited things in certain places. If you can get an old school bottle, do it. Get you it. Yeah. Sorry. You, yeah, you won't. Just, Just because, because of the look of it. It man. looks cool. Yeah. It looks very regal. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a very gentleman like to be drinking of a bottle that looks like that, you know? <laughs> like, you need to have it on a little tray with some tumblers on it. Oh, you know? yeah. Little doilies. Put on, put on you know, check my pocket watch, and my monocle. <laughs> Monopoly well, guy. Yeah, like the Monopoly guy. <laughs> Monopoly guy. I mean, what cooler, could, how much cooler could you get? I love how we went from wild turkey to Monopoly guy. We're mixing it. 
We really lending. are, and we're doing it for you guys. So Just we thank you. you guys for checking us out, all the support, all the comments. We really yes. appreciate it, man. We're, we're having a good time. We're doing it, you know, we're doing it because we love to do it, and we really appreciate the support, guys. So thank you very much. And from Bourbon Buddies, some Wild Turkey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>